Today I'm going to show you how to code an auxiliary cable in the E60 5 Series BMW. And this is an auxiliary cable that I make and sell and it has already been installed into my car. Now I installed mine into the glove box and this is where I put the jack. You can put it anywhere, some people put it right here, some people put it in the front, the center console, it's up to you wherever you want to put it. Now first I'm just going to plug in an auxiliary cable and I'm going to plug it into my phone to have it ready so when we're done coding we can play some music. Another thing you're going to need is a BMW coding cable. I purchased this one on eBay for about $45 and it came with all the necessary software to put into your computer. Now NCS Experts the program we're going to be using. First thing we're going to do we got to plug this into the OBD port, which is on the driver's side. Open up this little door. Take out the plug. And you're going to want to plug this in. Mine has a little light that lo lights up when it's plugged in. I'm not sure if the other cables have that. You want to plug this into the computer. And then you want to put the car, you don't want to turn on the engine, you just want to put it on the on position. Now I'm going to show you that my car does not currently have the auxiliary in it. Go to entertainment, right, see right here how FM, AM, CD. When we finish programming the auxiliary, it's going to show up to the right of the CD. Alright, let's get started. Now that you have everything plugged in, we want to first load up IMPA. Once it shows that both of these are shaded in, it means that the computer is connecting to the car and you're ready to go. They both have to be shaded in though. If one of them's not, then it's not reading the car. You can go ahead and exit this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up NCS Expert. The first thing we're going to code is the vehicle order. We're going to add auxiliary to the vehicle order. Now some of the cars I programmed, I didn't have to add it to the vehicle order. Just changing the module was fine enough and it worked. But I'll go ahead and f show you how to add to the vehicle order just in case some your car may not do it. First thing we're going to load up profile. And file load profile and we're going to choose expert mode press ok you want to click on f1 right here which it says uh, vin dash zcs dash fa you want to go to f3 it's uh, zcs dash fa f dot ecu choose the e60 for our body style press ok choose cas gonna load up you're gonna see it's gonna have the VIN up here in the vehicle order that's already listed you want to go F2 enter FA select E60 again press OK your VIN should show up now this is the list of things that are added into your car the vehicle order is already on there now we're gonna add auxiliary which is up here click there and it's going to be plus sign N A U X. Now press add. It's going to be added to the list right here. You see it? Then you press OK. Then you want to go to back, which is F6. You want to go to process ECU, choose CAS, press OK. You want to go to F2, change job. On this one, we're going to go to FA under dash right. Select OK and execute job. Right here, it always give you like a status of what's going on. 
See, this is job active, job ended. That means it wrote to it. So it should be added to the vehicle order now. Let's exit this, NCS Expert, and reload it. Now we're going to code the module. Like the other one, go to File, Load Profile. But this time, we're going to go to RevTour's NCS Expert Profile. This is a, a profile that everyone that, well, a lot of people that program use. Now, if you can find this on Google, I'll put the description down below what the name is, just in case you don't hear it right. And we're going to select that one and press OK. OK, we're going to go right here, F1, which is the VIN-ZCSFA, press press it. Then we're going to go right here to F3, ZCS-FAF.ECU, select our body style, E60, OK. Select the CAS, OK. All right, load up everything, ready to go. Right here in the corner, F6, back, press it. You want to go now to process ECU. We're going to select the CAPPL. You'll have this one if you have the navigation. If you don't if you don't have navigation, yours is going to say mask. So, I'm going to select the CAPPL because I have the navigation and okay. And okay again. We're going to go to here to change job F2. This one we're going to go to this one. It's in German, so I can't really pronounce it. It's a uh, called Dear Detten under dash Leeson. We're going to press OK and read ECU. Okay, once this pops up, it means it was usually means it's done. Yep, coding ended. Go ahead and uh, minimize this. And I have a shortcut to the work folder, but I'll show you the manual way. Go to my computer, C drive, the NCS expert folder, the work folder. Now we're going to find a file. It's a TRC file. It's F sw under dash psw.trc first thing we want to do before anything we want to copy this cop this file and save it to like a backup I have one on the desktop a folder called backups go ahead and paste it in there you always want to back up th anything you do okay now that we backed it up you want to select that file right click open with and we're going to open it with notepad all right, now that it's loaded, go to edit, find, and type in AUX. It was, usually it's the first one that shows up. It's AUX under dash config. Underneath it, it's going to say not under dash mounted. We want to change that to just mounted. So backspace, just delete the not and under dash. So now it says mounted. Go to file. And we're going to go to save as. All right. So on this one, we're going to have to save it as a different file. We're going to save it as a .man file. So make sure in here, save as type. Make sure it's not text documents or else we'll save it as something else. You want to make it say all files. And then you want to delete the TRC and put A, I mean M-A-N and save. And it's going to ask me if I want to replace it only because I already have one in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put yes. All right, that's saved. You can exit that. Exit the folder. You load up back the NCS expert. I'm going to go to F2 change job. This time we're going to change, uh, we're going to select SG under dash called Deerin. Select it, press OK. And then you want to put execute job. 
Again, you just have to wait. It'll show statuses up here, what's going on. This one kind of takes a little bit sometimes, so we just got to wait it out. Coding ended. We're done. Go ahead and exit that and let's turn off the car. Turn it on and we will now see auxiliary is now added to the iDrive. You want to select auxiliary. It's going to say the external audio source. Let's get our phone, iPad, iPod. Whatever you use to play music, it's plugged in already. Let's go ahead and press play. Volume controls work. Steering wheel controls. And that's all it takes for this cable to uh, the auxiliary cable to function. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like it, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos on how to do things on the E65 series. If you want to get a cable like this to add to your your car, um, there's a description in the description. You can uh, email me, and uh, I believe.